Unit 6, Lesson 14, Evaluating Expressions with Exponents. Number 1. Lynn says, I took the number 8 and then multiplied it by the square of 3. Select all expressions that equal Lynn's answer. I selected A, 8 times 3 to the second power, D, 3 to the second power times 8, and F, 72. Number 2. Evaluate each expression. A. 7 plus 2 to the third power. 7 plus 2 to the third power can be broken down as 7 plus 2 times 2 times 2. And 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. So we get 7 plus 8 and that equals 15. B. 9 times 3 to the power of 1. 9 times 3 to the power of 1 is the same as 9 times 3 or 27. C. 20 minus 2 to the 4th power. 20 minus 2 to the 4th power is the same as 20 minus 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, or 16. 20 minus 16 equals 4. D. 2 times 6 to the 2nd power. That's the same as 2 times 6 times 6. 6 times 6 is 36, so 2 times 36 equals 72. E. 8 times 1 half squared. 8 times 1 half squared is the same as 8 times 1 half times 1 half. And 1 half times 1 half is 1 fourth. So 8 times 1 fourth is 2. F. 1 third times 3 to the third power is 1 third times 3 times 3 times 3. And 3 times 3 times 3 is 27, so 1 third times 27 equals 27 thirds or 9. Number 3. Andre says, I multiplied 4 by 5, then cubed the result. Select all expressions that equal Andre's answer. Remember, cubed is the same thing as to the third power, which means three dimensional. A cube has three dimensions height, width, and length. 4 times 5 equals the result. The result is 20. Then he cubed the result, so that means 20 to the third power, or 20 times 20 times 20, which is the same as 400 times 20, or 8,000. I selected B, E, and G. Number 4. Han has 10 cubes, each 5 inches on a side. A. Find the total volume of Han's cubes. Express your answer as an expression using an exponent. To find the volume of one cube, we'd have to multiply all three dimensions, height, base, and length. 5 times 5 times 5, or 5 cubed. And since he has 10 cubes, we can just say 10 times 5 to the third power. And since they're measured in inches, it'll be 10 times 5 to the third power, inches to the third power. B. Find the total surface area of Hans cubes. Express your answer as an expression using an exponent. Six sides on a cube, and the area is base times height, or 5 times 5, which is the same as 5 squared, or 5 to the second power. So we have 10 times 6 times 5 squared, inches squared, or since 10 times 6 is 60, we can say 60 times 5 squared, inches squared. Number 5. Priya says that 1 third times 1 third times 1 third times 1 third equals 4 thirds. Do you agree with Priya? Explain or show your reasoning. Well, first of all, I say no because 1 third plus 1 third plus 1 third plus 1 third would equal 4 thirds, and addition is different than multiplication. So 1 third times 1 third times 1 third times 1 third would equal 1 over 3 to the 4th power or one-third all to the fourth power, or one over 81, since three to the fourth power is 81. Number six, answer each question. Show your reasoning. A, 125% of E is 30. What is E? In my diagram, you can see that 125% equals 30. I know that 100% has four groups of 25%, so 125% would be five groups of 25%. And since it equals 30, and 30 divided by 5 is 6, I placed a 6 inside each of the boxes. 
Each box is worth 25% and 25% is 6. Now we can add up 100% of the boxes and find the value for E. 100% of the boxes would be 4 of the boxes. 4 times 6 is 24. 125% of the boxes would be 30, but 100% of the boxes is 24. B. 35% of F is 14. What is F? I drew a different diagram here. On the left hand column I have the percentage. On the right hand column I have the value, or is. 35% is 14. That's what they told us. So 35% of F is 14. Since we're solving for F, I'd like to find out what 100% of F is. So my challenge is turning 35% into 100%. And I can do that pretty easily by dividing 35% by 7 and then multiplying that answer 5% times 20 and 5% times 20 gives me 100% of F. Now I have to perform those operations on the right hand column. So 14 divided by 7 equals 2 and then 2 times 20 equals 40. So now I know 100% of F equals 40 or F equals 40. Number 7. Which expressions are solutions to the equation 2 and 4 tenths times y equals 13 and 75 hundredths? Select all that apply. Well, 2 and 4 tenths y is the same as 2 and 4 tenths times y, and that equals 13 and 75 hundredths. I can rewrite that as 13 and 75 hundredths divided by 2 and 4 tenths equals y. That allows me to solve for y. So let's look at our choices. C, 13 and 75 hundredths divided by 2 and 4 tenths, that would work. And then D, 13 and 75 hundredths over 2 and 4 tenths, since that also means 13 and 75 hundredths divided by 2 and 4 tenths. Number 8, Jada explains how she can find 15 times 23. I know that 10 23's is 230. So 5 23's will be half of 230, which is 115. 15 is 10 plus 5, so 15 times 23 is 230 plus 115, which is 345. A. Do you agree with Jada? Explain. 10 times 23 plus 5 times 23 equals 230 plus 115, or 345. Yes. I do agree with Jada. B. Draw a 15 by 23 rectangle, partition the rectangle into two rectangles, and label them to show Jada's reasoning. One rectangle can be partitioned into two rectangles stacked on top of each other. The rectangle on top is 10 by 23, and the rectangle on the bottom is 5 by 23. So 10 by 23 plus 5 by 23 would equal 15 by 23. Congratulations, you have completed Unit 6 Lesson 14, Evaluating Expressions with Exponents.